Hello everyone, uh, this is a case of a FACO in a very hard uh, mature cataract. Um, looking at the picture only you can uh, see that it's long standing cataract. Patient almost waited for almost uh, more than 12 years to undergo this surgery. So after uh, making the side ports, entering with the main tunnel. Now I'll be starting my capsular axis with cystitome. There's no uh, fluid pocket inside. So plan is to do a capsular axis of around uh, 4.7 to 5 at least. So in such uh, cataracts, I usually avoid doing hydro procedures. So using the spatula to separate the cortex from the capsule. And here is my sharp chopper. And now you can see that as I have shaped the superficial cortex, as the mask has uh, gone now, the real picture of the cataract has come out. It's a very dense, hard cataract. Started my FECO emulsification with the constellation machine with the parameters mentioned here. So it's a very dense cataract, even uh, rotation was quite difficult. So I decided to debulk the bag by chopping and uh, taking out one pie. So using the both the instrument trying to rotate but still it was not uh, freely mobile. So decided to do the chop once again. I have to go to a deeper plane to separate the posterior plate. Got separated and uh, now I emulsified it. The cortex which is there in the periphery is also kind of uh, calcified. Now with the Sinski from the outside I uh, rotated it gently and then continued with the chopping. Now as the back has uh, debugged a little bit, so now uh, it's easier to rotate the nucleus. With step by step lateral separation, the posterior plate has also been cracked. Gentle rotation of the nucleus by manually. Going again deeper inside to separate the posterior plate. You can see that the, cor the cortex uh, is calcified. I didn't want to allow the chamber to collapse suddenly. Injected viscoelastics before taking out the probe. Now started my quadrant emulsification with the parameters mentioned. So as I'm using very high power, uh, one should be very careful, uh, one should not end up in wound burn. Here I have used IP mode. One can tell the assistant to keep hydrating the tunnel area. It's a bigger chunk uh, doing sub chop. So now a few only two pieces are there. So here uh, uh, I want to come out and put viscoelastic because only two pieces are left and uh, PC can be quite uh, fragile. Injected visco and then continued uh, with uh, cord and emulsification. So 
now there's hardly any cortical matter in the capsular bag I implanted a hydrophobic lens within the capsular bag Started cortex, uh, your visco removal. A little bit of cortex was there in the periphery, removed. Removing visco elastics below the eye well and from the chamber as well. Now, this is well formed, injected uh, intracamel moxie. Thank you, thank you for watching.